my master. No. Another problem. Please stop calling me master. Yes, please. Miss Nicherasuk has regained her sanity. She has. She says she wants to talk to you, my master. Is it safe? There's no need to worry. This is not the same Miss Nicherasuk. Huh? What does that mean? You'll see. Now please, my master. Okay, I'm going. Knock off that master. Shh. You're the searcher. Mr. Mondo, right? That's right. You don't remember me? Sorry, no. I don't retain any memories from the periods when I drink. But it sounds like I caused trouble for you. No other reason, it seems. What's up? There's something I want you to find. My say. What have you lost? A password. A password to uncompress a virus buster. My computer's been infected with the virus. It's totally locked up, unusable. I have the virus buster I need here with me, but I've forgotten the password needed to uncompress it. It's hidden deep within my subconscious, I fear. So you were drinking out of desperation. <clears throat> the files within my PC are vital to me. My entire life's work. What exactly do these files contain? Lost top secret, I'm afraid. I can't discuss it. That complicates matters. Please, Mr. Mondo. Okay, okay. Still do this. It's no different than the trouble you've caused so far. The earthquake virus is very dangerous. Oh, uh -huh, guess what? There's a cocktail called the earthquake, so we're just going to take those numbers and plug it into your brain. Please take care. But hurry. Yeah, I already... Just let me do it. Just let me do it. I already know what it is. You're an, a raging alcoholic. Of course, the password's gonna be related to something alcohol-wise. I don't want to talk to Frenchman. Lock. My master. I was Miss Nichirisuk. It's like night and day. She's like a different person. So you met her. Yeah, I guess. Fuck, I have to talk to Chardboner. How did it go? You triggered another flick, right? Then there's here. Then here's one more for you. Room 407 is Maria's room. But if you go in, be prepared. You can't handle a woman like that. Now go. As I will it. I already forgot what you said. She said... Hey, repeat that back to me. I was too busy focusing on doing the shitty accent that I actually forgot what you said. Bartender's calling you. Is he? I think you said 407, right? I sure hope you said 407, because God knows I genuinely don't remember. The bartender is calling. Nope, I gotta go to 407. I think is what you said. Why does my room specifically have a jacuzzi that I can access? None of the other rooms. No, no, no. All right, Maria, you drunk bitch. What am I supposed to learn from your room, huh? Am I supposed to make a phone call? No. Oh, wait, there's something here. There's a lamp. What? Oh, 
for a lamp. Okay, is this one that takes the earthquake password then? Thirty twenty ten. It sure isn't. What three digits? What three digits could it possibly be? What three digits could it possibly be? So I've been fucking up these lost and found things, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, I have. Okay. So I went into Maria's room to do the lost and found thing, right? Well, not to, to further the story, right? I get here and this lamp had an exclamation mark, but no symbol lighting it up. Also, I didn't check my lost and found papers this morning. I realize that now. Um, because I did have to look up the guide for it. But, uh, yeah. No, I, uh, I, uh, I, f I found out the, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I finally got one of these lost and found. So those little numbered containers are the lost and found things. Okay. Earthquake and cocktails, could it be that simple? Fucking absolutely. God damn it, I should have looked at that boss. Hold on, I got a block art. Uh. I'll be the tire straight, yeah. What? Mr. Pirate, what's up? I'll shunt him on the a snip of a poetry. I can sum it up in a single word. Blithering sea scum. What? My signature saying. Allow me to give you a gift, you rigged monkey. To teach you about the roar and the soul. Batten down the hatches a bit there, Mr. Pirate. When hurling into mystery, mystery calls upon more mystery. What is a mystery of that mystery when mystery proceeds? Hurl on toward the idea of solving all mystery. Open, Catherine. Take out the virus. So, what the? So, Mr. Pirate just shows up to shout shit at me? Like, that's awesome, but also, what the fuck? Like, dude, what are you doing here? Earthquake, 302010. Cool. No! Fuck it, goddamn, press B twice. God damn it. Uh, do I gotta go through all this? Like, da da da. Ah, I have to go through. So, Mr. Pirate comes in just to say my line for me. That's awesome. In, nope. In, nope. In, nope. In, nope. In, nope. In. Oh. I like I remembered that number. I was like, ah, oh, 30, 20, 10. Oh, it's only two numbers.
Oh, hi. Ah, you're finished. Hey. Where's Mr. Pirate? Eh? Just what was all that? Ah! It's broken. Yes. I'm sorry. Can't be helped. I'm very sorry. Guess your skulls needed mending too. Hey. I'm kidding. It was broken before you touched it. Hold on. You've changed again. You've been drinking. Yeah, why would I do that? You set me up? It's not a flat. Oh, forget it. I'm just passing the time. This so called paradise is too dull to with cocktails alone. This means I was the worst virus for you. Didn't take it personally. And then they booked. Searcher, I didn't come here to play or have fun. Never mind then. I fled here. Fled for my regular life. Regular life? Chased from pillar to post by work every day. I hope to find myself here. The tools of my work still left me. So I've saved you from your work, have I? You could take it that way. Yes, a little. Maria. Just what job is it that you do? Me? I'm an angel. An angel. Even angels are struggling with the IT revelation. These computers are hard to handle. Huh? This means trouble too. All that damaged data. Lucifer is going to be very upset with me. Understand? How about we a drink to make me feel better? A fallen angel, perhaps? Well done. Now time to actually enjoy my vacation. Boom. Yeah. Yep, she's gonna look out the window and then she's gonna just explode. Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> So I'm quite thirsty. It's been a while since I last flew. Sorry to have taken up your time. Take care. Yeah, that was quite the flight you went on there. Welcome back crazy, isn't it? This island is cursed. An angel just walking around among us? Among us? Cursed. Her being an angel is no reason to let down your guard. I would prefer a demon. That angel will get us all to do what she wants, siphon off our will to live, and then pack us off to heaven. The island where angels stay. Heaven with an angel. Oh, I like that. That might work. I shall be wa waiting with a smile at the front desk. The Entertainer. Good morning, Mr. Mondo. Good morning, Edo. Your breakfast is ready. Great. I'll make it down today, I promise. We'll be waiting. 
Yeah, will I make it down today? So I'll make it down to the floor. Mmm, great coffee. Yesterday, and now today. I'm starting to lose track of what's going on here. The flow of time has been weird ever since I arrived. It's the same yesterday. Maria turned into an angel and flew off. I guess heaven isn't all it's cracked up to be. What's with all the exploding planes on this island? I don't understand any of this. I'm getting bored of this coffee, too. Maybe we should go get some breakfast. Maybe that's what's up. Alright, lost and found list. Reduce the peppermint green by 10 milliliters in a grasshopper. Increase the fresh cream by 10 milliliters. What sort of cocktail would that be? Oh, fuck no. Swimsuit. How many sun beds are there on the are there on the roof? Uh, if I remember correctly, it's like eight. Isn't it like two, 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 two? How long is the Balboa Brothers debut movie? Fuck if I know. Yeah, so these lost and found items are apparently in people's rooms. And I can just stumble onto them. I'm guessing it has to be a room, because like, I, I can't go into 407 anymore. So I'm guessing it has to be, oh, hi. Mati or Sue? Which one are you? <laughs> Mr. Mondo, good morning. Good morning. Oh, okay then. So, ah, whoops, wrong button. All right, well, bye. First floor, baby. Holy shit, we made it. Damn, nice speaker system. Folks, what's going on? How we doing? Me, Mr. Mondo, don't even worry about it. Oh, wait. It's up here. Oh, it's up here. I guess I won't find out. Seems like kind of a long, ominous hallway. Kind of like, no, what's going on there? Anyway, Edo, breakfast. Good morning, Mr. Mondo. Edo, as promised, finally here. I'll head to the airport. Can you arrange a car for me, please? Mr. Mondo, I'm sorry, but that isn't going to be possible. Anything with wheels will do. Let's go. Mr. Mondo, this island is a designated environmental reserve. No cars are allowed here. What are you talking about? Peter drove me out here in his truck. Only specifically stipulated cars are allowed to run. And unfortunately, we here at the hotel do not have such a vehicle. So how do I get to the airport? I'm afraid you'll have to walk. Walk? Across the whole island? Edo, are you pulling my leg? I'm sorry, those are the rules. I just heard that word. Breaking the rules means punishment by death, I'm afraid. Really? Really? I just have to go with the flow then. Actually, Mr. Mondo, we've got some trouble. Again? First, please talk to those two sitting in the lobby. Well, I tried. Those two? They really need your help, Mr. Mondo. I'll fill you in on further details after you've talked to them. Alright. Hi, ma'am. How can I help you? You're the searcher guy, are you? That's right. And what? You actually need me to introduce myself? 
You got quite a mouth on you, haven't you, kid? Kid? You don't know the Balboa brothers? Are you boxers? I guess not. What's with you, man? I guess you've never seen a TV or been to the movies before. Can't believe this guy. What do you think, Dabs? I remember. You're those Balboa brothers. Right. Let's do the autographs later, okay? First, we need your help. That's how we do things, Mr. Uh, Sumio Mondo. Mr. Mondo. Mondo, eh? That's a cool name. Now, you gotta help us. Is that speaker system yours? Yeah, we need to get it fixed or there'll be trouble. Tabs needs to cheer up before he can fix it. He's totally retreated into himself. So what should I look for? What do you need me to do? Okay. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I talk. It's just my style. I can accept that. Thanks, Mr. Mondo. It makes a difference to you say that. People misunderstand us, you know. Okay, okay, I get it. Just tell me what you need. Sorry, Mr. Mondo. I'm always this way. Flabbing on, running my mouth. It's a bad habit. I need a script for real life. Tell me what you want. Okay, okay. Cool it, cool it. I need you to prove that we are who we say we are. Identification, huh? Some idiot at our office made our reservations under our stage names. Can't you get in touch with them? This wouldn't be a problem if we could. Okay. This isn't going to be easy, but I'll give it a try. Fantastic, Mondo. Hear that, Tabs? This guy's something else. We don't need to worry about anything now that Mondo Man is on the case. Here's what I'll do, Mondo. You do this for, you do this for us, right? And when it's done, we'll suck you up. I'll give you my autograph. You're gonna love it. I'll pass. Eh. Okay, I guess I gotta talk to Tabs, huh? No? Did, do I go do I go outside? No? Edo! Ring ring, Edo. Assistance, poor favor. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Mondo. Edo, you won't accept their ID? It's a little cold, isn't it? You are aware of our situation here, Mr. Mondo. This island is the target of terrorists. I do know both of these gentlemen, of course. In fact, I'm a big fan of the Balboa Brothers. A big, big fan. It's easy, on a personal level, to accept who they say they are. However, as a hotel manager, my first priority is to protect the safety of all my guests. You're right, Edo, of course. Sorry, I wasn't thinking of your position. Please, Mr. Mondo, I understand. And I apologize, in turn, for putting further demands upon your time. Don't worry about that. On board now. Do whatever it takes. And please do so. The airport situation is desperate. Take care. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Oh, actually, hold up. There is something about a theater, right? Cinema, the power of theater, yeah. I imagine that's gonna have something to do with it. Power of theater, fifth floor, classics of the silver screen come alive. While some may not see the point in journeying to this ship, Cinema's projector runs at 30 frames per second. A heartwarming comedy masterpiece filled with laughs. A woman announcer says a front line in Louisiana. Starring Sonny Balboa, Taz Balboa, and Sayaka Bayan. Oh. Hour and 32 minutes. 1998. U.S. Kanto collaboration. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And they talk about Psychobion dying. Okay, so this is totally the one. I'm page 33. I, I see 1998. I see 132. So I need you to talk about Psycho Bion. Okay, so I think I have to go to the fifth floor then. I'd imagine, because that's where the theater's at. steps on the stairs count. I'm just saying, I'm putting in steps on those stairs. Alright, there's at least like six steps you're not counting there. Okay, so that's not it. I guess we'll come back to that then. Hi, right, Sue. So didn't get a chance to talk to you. Okay, well, that time I tried to talk to Sue, and it was like, no, you're going downstairs. Fuck, okay, sorry, Sue. I tried to say hello, but, um, it was not meant to be. So, what, do I just talk to Dingus again? Oh, hey, no. Can I help you with anything, Mr. Mondo? Edo, I've got a question. Please, go ahead. On what basis are you identifying them? I just need to see proof that they are who they say they are. They can be in any shape or form. That's all we need to do is convince you, right? That is correct. Very well. How about a film they've started then? A film alone would be enough, but it would be a start. How about their body language then? If the soul of the Balboa Brothers was evident within it, Okay, that's a big hint. I just remembered something, Mr. Mondo. Unless I am mistaken, Miss Hanayama is quite the film buff. You mean Yayoi? The woman by the pool? That is correct. I hope she can offer some better advice. Of course. Now I walk all the way to the top of the fucking building. <laughs> Whatever. God, my steps don't count. I get like one step per staircase. Cause it takes like one, maybe two steps to get to the fucking spot. Yeah, no, I get two steps. Takes two steps to round the corner. Well, I clearly should be getting a lot more steps on that, but whatever. Please don't start. You mean the comedy duo, right? New now movie stars. I don't really care for them. God, of course not. Past talking tabs and his muscle headed lump of a brother. Their debut film was A Bus Slide in Anna, Louisiana, or something like that. You seem to know a lot about them. But are my ex boyfriends like them? I see you date a variety of men. So Tabs is known for his fast talking, huh? And what did you say you wanted from me? I'm done. That's all you needed? That's all. How boring. Oh well, see you again. Okay, so that's interesting. Tabs is known for his fast talking. Yet the guy they were referring to as Tabs... ...never spoke? That's interesting.
Yo, Mr. Mondo. Hi again. Has that blockhead manager changed his mind yet? Not yet. Oh man, come on. I've got an idea though. Talk to me, baby. I'll be playing games with the Balboa Constrictor. Listen up then, snake boy. Tabs is famous for his fast talking mouth, right? We need that. Let me get this straight. I'm not enough to prove that we're the Balboa brothers. That's not what I'm saying. Musclehead, Sunny, and Tabs with the fast talking mouth. Two of you together comprise the Balboa brothers. Right? Mr. Mondo, you fit the nail on the head. That seems pretty quiet, to be honest. I think he gets his mouth warmed up when the cameras are rolling. Actually, he needs his afro wig. That's what gets his mouth fired up. Afro wig? What kind of messed up mentality is that? It'll take a while to explain. By all means, fill me in. Okay, makes sense, I guess. There's all sorts of people in this business, man. Where are your belongings, then? Just those speakers. That's all. We came to the island by boat. Those speakers turn into a boat. All it takes is the flick of a switch. They turn into a boat? Man, they're all their age. Transformable survival speakers. They're called Croak Croak Frog. A little cutesy for my taste. It's about a boat, see? Not really. Well, this will take a while to explain. Okay, so it was a TV stunt. All sorts of stuff goes on in this business, man. Surely you had the afro on then, if you were being filmed. Yeah, but just before we arrived on the, at the island, we caught a stellar wave. So it was washed off then. Our passports were tucked into my belt, but he can't tie his afro to his head. So an afro wig, that's what we need. Mr. Mondo, you're all we've got. Don't worry, leave this to me. Well, yeah, leave this to me. I'll find your afro wig. What the f fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? Hey, Edo. Wigs. Where do y'all sell those? Need something, Mr. Mondo? Hey, no, have you got an afro wig around here? A oh, wig? Yeah, an afro wig. You actually think I might have one. I was just asking. Without getting an afro on tabs, I don't think we're going to be able to solve this. An afro. Can you use something else instead? We do have a mop. A mop? Yeah, so cleaning mop. Put one on your head, and from a distance, it would look like an afro. What kind of mops are y'all using? Or do you not know what the fucking afro looks like? Because, like, you could use mops to, like, if it were, like, dreads. He yeah, asked for dreads, he yeah, asked for an afro. What kind of mop you use that look like a goddamn afro? Sounds like it's worth a shot. We're gonna find this mop then. I think Sue is using it to clean. She'll be somewhere in the hotel. Thanks, Edo. All the times I passed by Sue. Now we will finally chat with her. Hi, Sue. You're not running away from me this time. Sue? Sir Mondo, can I help you with something? So I'll cut to the chase. I need that mop. This mop? That fluffy mop is just what I need. How do you shout about this? Oh yes, it's practically perfect. Anything for a guest? Please take it. But I would ask that you return it when you are done. I haven't finished cleaning yet. That's a promise. One more thing. What are these numbers? 0221? Do they mean anything? Mati is responsible for sorting the cleaning goods. So... Talk to her if you want more details. Okay, I was expecting this to take a while anyway. Mati then. And Mati's outside the fourth floor.
I'm not the... Mr. Mondo, anything I can do for you? The mop the Sue is using. Did you attach that device? I did. It's a commercial 10,000 step counter. It's the perfect way to tell when the mop needs to be changed. What about it? I see. It's to work out when the mop needs to be changed. It comes off when it reaches 10,000 then. There's an ad for it in the guidebook. Great. Thanks. Oh, 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 I'm gonna have to adjust it to where it says 10,000. I have to adjust the step counter. I was gonna say, you expect me to take 9,779 steps? That, that's what you're expecting of me? No, no, okay. I got you, I got you. Appreciate you, Mati. Appreciate you. 9779, pretty easy code, I like it. So... Even the step counter is a code. I hope someone's having fun with all this. Anyway, let's recap what I've got so far. Uh huh. <laughs> Gotta jack into a mop. Nope. 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 Ah! Nope, 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 nope. I fucked up. There we go. Well, fuck it, I don't look like an afro. Oh, I'm Tracy, Mr. Mundo. This is my job, after all. But my signature saying... Lovely paw. You think so? Oh, yes, wonderful. And I guess it's okay. Well then, here you go, Mr. Mundo. It smells a bit funny. Mr. Mondo! So did you find an afro wig? Unfortunately not. Aw, oh, come on! So why are you here? I'll never be able to check in at this rate. Calm down. I've got something just as good here. You have? An afro. An afro. This? An afro. Just use your imagination. I believe this is an afro and it is. Have faith, you can do anything. Brother, that's a tough call. You're actors, aren't you? So act. Guess we can give it a shot. How's it feel, my real brother? It smells. I knew it. Mr. Bondo, you're all we've got. Please, we're still stuck here. I guess we'll have to sleep outside tonight. Please, brother. You can just fix those speakers. Ugh. Oh, come on. Once our speaker system is working again, I'm sure tabs will get psyched up. You put those numbers on the speakers, and they'll return to their proper size. Please, bro. So now I need to fix the speakers. Yeah, it should be simple for you. It should be a pain for me. Oh, it'll be like that, bro. Let's keep things fresh between us. Were you trying to fuck? I know, I know. It's hard to not complain. Planers get no babes, man. You have much luck with the ladies, do you? Shut up. It was just my style. You need to cast aside your kindness to maintain such a style, bro. To truly assert yourself, you need to maintain a heart that doesn't flinch in the face of sacrifice. Bro, can you do that? You're serious, aren't you, Sonny? You need to be careful around me. I hate guys who say, it's my style as an excuse. Surviving in showbiz means getting rid of your ego. 
you won't get any work with that in your way. Pride is merely a decoration. It's not something you show off. It's treasure to be held deep in your heart. If you're truly going with your own style, you'd better be ready. You're not my, you're not my bro anymore, Mundo. You're the same as Steven. I don't mind sleeping rough. Whoa, thanks for everything, Mundo. Yeah, I have pictured goddamn speakers. Okay, fine. I'm pretty sure there's something about it in the guidebook. Because it said something about croak, croak, frog or some shit. I'm almost certain that gets mentioned at some point. Where, I don't know. But I'm almost certain it does. Yeah, here it is. I remember seeing this. Here we are. The theater size sound at your size. Powerful and high quality sound. All guest rooms in Flowers and Rain are up to a stampede sound system, which provides the ultimate auditory simulation direct from Power Theater. The stampede sound system is used across the entire world, in cinemas, for outside music events, and even in your own living room. To celebrate the 45th anniversary of our um, ba, 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 company, we are proud to announce the world's first transforming survival speakers, the Infinite System. By attaching an information terminal to the input on the side of the speakers, inputting the desired mode number, one for Crow Crow Frog, two for Twin Sleeping Bed, 100% natural down, three for Super Mobile Cannon, and four for off-road bicycle, five for normal speakers, and the desired size, one through five, the form and size of the speakers can be easily and simply transformed to the shape desired. It goes without saying that speaker mode includes our highest quality technology. So, we need to transform it back into the Crow Crow Frog, which is a one. The size, however, I don't know. I don't know what size we need these things at. I imagine that's what we're gonna have to do is jack into him, right? Is Edo gonna be like, yeah, but don't, don't make him too big, like average size, like three? Good evening. Oh, Mr. Mondo. About the speakers. They're in my way too, actually. They're five times larger than the ones I have at home. Five times larger, you say? Five times, yeah. I hope you can move them soon. Good to know. One, one. The code's 11. I guess this is the number Sonny was talking about. 55, I'll remember that. Yeah, anyway. Yes, right now it's on 55. I need to bring it down to 11. There we go. We need it in Crow Crow Frog mode and we need it smaller. Ah, Jack in. 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 Final answer. What? Okay, it's gotta be 51 then. So do we keep them as speakers? And just make it 51? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, solve the problem. So we keep them as regular speakers, which would say the first five, but we turn them five times smaller. Final answer. 
51. Ha, 51. That's not how speakers work. Mundo. Brother. Thanks, Sonny. You woke me up a little. A little isn't enough. I'll be sure to carry on down the path then. Carry on, you say. How naive. That kind of thinking is why others take advantage of you. You're too kind, brother. I think I can live with that. You're a good guy, Mondo. Of course he is. Sonny, put the afro in tabs. Ah, almost forgot. You ready, tabs? Okay, Sonny. How's it feel, my real brother? Hey, 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 bro. What's with the long face? You can't do that. You can't get sat down enough to do nothing. We'll solve anything. So we messed up on the crow crow. Hell, we almost got crow. Such a small wave, though. Small, small wave. Still, we're not so unlucky. Not unlucky at all, I'd say. Lucky, in fact. Lucky is what we are. The name of our luck. Mr. Mondo. You being here was the best piece of luck. I, what can, how can we thank you? What can we say? I can say a lot, but what? What's that? What's that piece you have there anyway? I'm so into gadgets. I got a new little gadget the other day. I gotta tell you, you know. How's that, Edo? Amazing. The one and only Tabs Balboa. Eh, what? I'm done? The set is over? Goodbye, bye bye, see you next year. Sunny once had that line. The very last scene, the climax, the payoff, it was the final line. Okay, brother. No problemo. Now that all is settled, could I please get an autograph? An autograph? I have 47 different styles of autograph. I like them all. No, love them all. No, love them all. But the best one has to be. Look quieter, please, my real brother. And then we're gonna see the plane explode in that window back there. I can already see from how it's framed. Mr. Mondo, as I promised, here's one of our best autographs. I can't accept this. How about making it a gift to the hotel? Edo seems to be a much bigger fan of yours than I. Amigo! Yep. I could already see with how that shot was framed. I'm like, yep, we're gonna see the plane fucking explode out the window. Oh. Yep. 